Hey guys, Josh Rossi. Welcome to another Photoshop Dad tutorial. This is part two of this image that we're creating right now. So if you haven't seen part one, go check it out and you can always click the link below to get the downloadable files to follow along. Now I've also included some fog brushes, different things that we're going to be using in this image. So let's go ahead and get started with part two. All right, so now let's add some final effects. We've got to add the clouds. We've got to shadow some of these things. So first of all, let's, let's go ahead and shadow these things. Let's go above the border here, this border layer. Actually, click on the border layer and we're gonna create a blank layer and just call this dark. Now the dark layer, we're gonna turn this to a soft light blending mode and we're going to paint with a black brush. Go to your brush, go to black. And opacity, it's gonna be down to like 20, 30, something like that. Okay, so make this brush a little bit bigger and now we're gonna, we're gonna make this a little bit dark Actually, let's go to 40% opacity. So this is gonna make things look really interesting here. When you're adding, it, it's gonna contour the face a little bit more. So it's not just this like flat color throughout. Where it's gonna be a little bit brighter over here and then a little bit darker over on this area right there. Okay, so I'm gonna go E to erase a little bit over here. Sort of feather that. Okay, now it, it needs to be a little bit darker, so what you can do is just copy that layer down like that, and if it's too dark, you can turn down the opacity, something like that. Okay, one other thing to make this color, this gray look more realistic right now, it's just this sort of like flat looking thing, no texture. Click on border, we're gonna go up to filter, let's see, where the heck is it? Noise, add noise. Okay, we're gonna add a little tiny bit of noise like barely, let's see. 2.5, that seemed too much. Let's do 1.5, let's see what that looks like. Um, yeah, 1.5, that should be fine. So when you're back up here, you don't really see much, that, but there is some sort of texture there going on. Okay, so here, going back to this darkening layer, brighten it up just a tiny, tiny bit, like that. And then what you could do is create another layer over the top just for final adjustments. Um, just gonna call this dark again. Now you could actually put this to normal or soft light. I usually, I'll switch back and forth between the two. So back here where it's really dark, I'm just gonna go just like that. Okay, great. So it's looking good. All right, next thing is let's add the clouds here. So over the top of everything, I'm gonna make a blank layer. This is just gonna be my clouds layer. And we're gonna go to your brush and go back over to the cloud, or sorry, not cloud, but the fog brush. We're gonna fake this. So the fog brush, we might use JR Fog 4. This kind of looks like it could be a... Okay, so let's go to 100% opacity. And we're gonna paint in. Oops, I'm painting with black. Make sure you're painting with white. So I'm gonna make just a really hazy one over here. And then we're gonna do a small one over here. And I'm just dabbing, I'm just dabbing around so they look realistic and then maybe one up here. Something like that. Cool, so with the fog brush we created some sort of, you know, clouds, not, not too bad. Now you can, you can spend more time, you know, like contouring these and whatever. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna spend the time doing that because you could literally spend five hours doing this. I've done it before. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave it like this. All right, I think that's great. Gosh, my OCD is kicking in. Actually, I don't have OCD, but sometimes it's Photoshop. Okay, there you go. Okay, let's brighten up a few pieces here. Waterfall right here, we need to brighten it up. Let's create a curves adjustment layer above. Make sure it's a clippy mask. Hold on, option or alt. And we're gonna bring this up just like that. And bring down the shadows a little bit. Same thing, you wanna add a similar adjustment to this waterfall right here. Curves layer, bring that up. and then bring the shadows down slightly, slightly. 
Remember, you're actually affecting everything in this image back here, so you, you want to be careful with that. So you could, if you wanted, you can paint out, let's go to our brush here. You could paint out, um, you know, the brightness that you added back in those areas there. Okay. All right, so that's looking good. Next piece would be to, let's see, the, the border here, I, I think that looks better when it's a little bit brighter. So let's just bring that up. Just like that. And then we need to add some shadowing back in these areas because it doesn't make sense that it's really bright. Her head is over the top of it, so let's make that dark. So go above the bottom layer and actually, let's see, it's not the bottom layer, it is Let's go above the waterfall layer right here and create one that, a layer called shadow. Shadow in head, okay. And remember for shadows, I'm using a normal blending mode. I'm not changing things up with that. I'm gonna be painting at about 30, 40% opacity. And we're just gonna make this brush really big. And we still wanna keep some detail. So you don't want it super, super black. You see here, we're, we're retaining some detail there. But let's go over the top. Oops. You don't want to get any on the waterfall. Just erase right around there. And then same thing over here. Let's just add some darkness. Then add a little bit of shadow here as if it's the, the shadow from the, the face. Okay, so let's do some final effects and some final fixes and whatnot. Clouds seem a little bit too close to her, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this, bring it down, do something like this, and on each one of these layers, I'm going to separate these out, so there you go. So now I've separate, separated out these clouds so I can, I can move these wherever I want. And here, let's actually do the same. So on this layer, I'm gonna erase that, this layer, I'm gonna erase that. So now we can, basically, it, I just created it so each each is, separate so that way I can make them bigger smaller whatever I want you know I can change the opacity of one of these if I wanted to so now let's add some final coloring to the lips and to these uh, like leaves or whatever and then we're gonna be done so to the top of everything actually underneath the cloud layer we're gonna add a blank layer, and this is just gonna be called green. And then we're also gonna do one that's gonna be called uh, pink. So these are my colors. On each layer, turn it to a overlay blending mode. Green and pink to overlay blending mode. And we're gonna paint with different colors over the top. So pick a soft round brush, and we're gonna do the, let's do the green first. So pick a green right here, kind of like a darker green. And we're gonna paint with 100% opacity over the tops of these, just like that. And you wanna be pretty precise around the edges. Okay, so once you've colored them green, bring the opacity down to somewhere around 50%. And then same thing with the lips, we're gonna paint in a pink, pinkish color and then bring opacity down to about 10%. And that makes a very slight difference, but it's gonna make the lips pop a lot more. And when you have separation of colors, things look really, really great. Now, especially if you don't have a nice camera, obviously this is a stock image, but if you don't have a nice camera, it's not gonna pick up the colors in the best way. So I usually take it into Photoshop and I separate colors out for absolutely everything. So that's why we separate out these colors and it looks just really, really great. So let me show you now, we're pretty much done. Actually, I think we are done. So this is the before, actually, let's go disable layer mask. So this is the before right here. And then this is the after, right there. Right, so just with a little bit of Photoshop, the image turned out super cool. So there you guys go. Hopefully you downloaded the file so you can follow along because stuff like this is really great to practice with. Also, if you want to learn how to composite, how to shoot, how to edit for big clients that I've worked with like DC Comics, Nickelodeon, Adobe, Acura, the list goes on and on. Click the link below. I've actually created a full on course that's going to show you how to do that. And there you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you soon.